Hi Aries, I'm here to do your monthly love reading for June 2024. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started in you guys' reading. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit God. Please come in and assist me with the reading. Love reading for the Zodiac sign of Aries for June 2024. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, the cards that flew out is the Ten of Swords and the Hangman. So someone that's at a standstill, not really doing any kind of communicating, is dealing with a lot of pain, stress, and anxiety over this situation in your love life. It could be you or your cross watcher. So I'm going to read it as if it's the cross watcher. So your person is, you're not communicating with this person at the time. During this period of you guys not communicating. This person is dealing with a lot of stress and pain and anxiety. Not able to really sleep at night due to this situation. But I'm going to do a couple more shuffles of uh, Aries and pull the cards just to finish up the reading. Because I pull cards for the reading. But as cards fly out, I will take them as the overall energy in the reading. Flipped over. Okay. A couple more sh uh, shuffle fairies. Knight of Cups. Okay, this person is doing a lot of stress and anxiety over and over that they're going to either bring to you or they brought to you. You didn't accept it. But let's see what the rest of the cards say. Yeah, this person here is stressing over a love offer, a stable love offer, Aries, that they're bringing to you or they brought to you. And it's not been, and it hasn't been accepted or they haven't brought it to you yet. They're thinking about it. Okay, you have the Empress. Definitely an offer coming to you, Aries. The Page of Cups. That's another offer. The World Card with a new beginning. Nine of Swords. What I'm telling you, this person is stressing here. You have the Ten of Swords and a Nine of Swords. This person is not able to sleep at night. Seven of Coins. Feeling stressed, burden. I think I got a lot of weight on your shoulders. Four of Swords. You could be dealing with the Earth, Air Sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The Hierophant, Marriage, Commitment. And the Four of Cups. So, like I said, Overall energy, four of wands, marriage, commitment. This person, if they haven't came to you with this offer, Aries, they're getting themselves together to come to you with this offer that's going to be brought to you this month about a serious commitment, marriage commitment here. This is going to bring about a new cycle between you guys here, but this person is not able to sleep at night. This is really bothering them about bringing this offer to you. But it's going to be brought yeah, this is the offer that's coming to you. You haven't received it yet. If you have, that's, that's good. But for those that haven't, there's an offer that this resonates with. This is an offer coming to you guys. If your person is stressed, they're not able to sleep at night, feeling burdened. They've been very to themselves, but it's not for another person. It's them collecting their thoughts through this pain, through this breakup. To bring you a stable offer of commitment, of love. It's bothering them. They're not able to really sleep at night. This is, they see you as this empress of high value here. Okay, what I'm getting ready to do, Aries, I'm going to pull some clarifying cards just to see. I'm picking up 
שנאה דתית משנה. This person is stable. This person doesn't have a wavering energy about this uh, committed offer that you're ready to bring you, eight of swords. They're feeling stuck, though. Maybe they're feeling stuck because they feel like you're not going to accept this, or they feel like that it's, it's over and done. But I do see them going ahead, coming to you with this offer. Two of swords. This person is thinking, contemplating here with this phone on when to contact you when to make that move. But it's going to happen. You can be pop you could possibly stay by a body of water or the person stay by water. Or you live in an area that has water. Or you live in a city or state that has a lot of water. That's what I'm seeing here. I don't know why I picked that up, but that just drawn me to that card. I see that card all the time. King of Swords, this person's definitely in their head. You have the Three of Cups, the Sun, the Six of Wands. Somebody likes butterflies as well, or has a butterfly tattoo, or something about butterflies is what I'm seeing. Ace of Cups, definitely love. This person's coming to you with a love offer here, and they're coming really fast and passionate with the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Coming for serious commitment here, asking you out on a date. Your energy is here as well with this fire signs. They point it all out. They come in with a lot of love here, most definitely. There's a love offer coming your way, uh, Aries. Let me pull some love oracle messages just to see. It can be spirit. You deserve love. You are lovable. This is how this person views you. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive all the highest energy of all. So this is how this person feels as well. They feel like you're lovable. They want to give you their highest energy. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So like I said, you guys are at a standstill with this person. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Let me get one more. Oh, it's more than one. Okay, let me get this one that flew on the floor. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership with our team. This person coming in for reconciliation. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others, and passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So this person is definitely coming in to you guys for reconciliation, to work on this relationship, and to give them another try, another chance. Um, Aries. All right, Aries, if this resonates with you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I will see you soon.